Hi and welcome to this tutorial video of Impel CRM. Through this video we are going to see how we can upload the customer data into the CRM system. And when I say customer data, it could be leads, accounts, contacts associated to those accounts or opportunity details. Today specifically let's focus on how to upload lead data into the CRM system. From the lead page, the way to upload bulk data into the system is by clicking Upload. Impel supports CSV format for bulk data upload and CSV stands for comma separated value. Say if you do not have your data formatted as a CSV file, you can download a sample CSV file by clicking here. However, I have a sample CSV file created here to be used in this example which looks like this. Let's take a look at the list of columns and values supported by the system. So here is a set of them, first name, middle name, last name, contact, address, opportunity source, marketing program and various others based on your requirements you can define these columns. However, while uploading data one must make sure that the first name and the company are mandatory field. Now let's take a look at the sample CSV file. The most important thing to note about the CSV file and its values is the capitalization and the spacing of these fields. For example, let's take a look at the title. The title of field number 4 is defined as Mrs. however with a lowercase m. But the value lookup field is defined with a capital M. So there is an error in the data and this data will not get uploaded. So let's correct it. We can take another example, probably at uh, the state value. Say the state defined in these is Karnataka. However, the value of Karnataka at row number 7 is defined with a lowercase k. But the system is defined, in the system it is defined as Karnataka with a capital K. So there is another error and the data will not get uploaded. So we can see a couple of similar uh, generic errors or common errors that one can commit during uh, data upload. For example, it could be in case of New Delhi. In New Delhi, we should make sure that there is a spacing between new and Delhi otherwise this will account for another data error. So once you have your data formatted correctly without any spell errors, proper spacing of values, capitalization of letters and most importantly the values of the fields are matching correctly to the lookup fields as defined in the system, we can proceed with the CSV upload. So browse the CSV file and then say next. So the step one in our lead upload is true. So the file is uploaded to the server. What happens in step two is we are able to map the fields of the fetch CSV file to the fields as defined in the system. So here the fields in bold, these are the fields which are defined in the system and the fields here are fetched from the CSV file. So what mainly you have to check in step 2 is to make sure that you map the right field names or the field values. For example, the contact work phone might be defined in your CSV as just work phone. So what you're doing here is you're mapping the values of work phone to appear in contact work phone. So go into this drop down list, click on work phone and map the field. So contact work phone is now mapped to your work phone. So that is how you do the mapping of fields for various things and check them. And once you're through with that, you can say next. So this is step 3 which could be your clarification or might be you can recheck on the fields again. Gives you a chance to recheck whether your mappings is done correctly. Right, so once you're sure that your mappings are correctly, you can go ahead and continue uploading by just clicking on upload.
so there it is so go to the leads you can check your leads and there it is you have the leads uploaded Srinidhi, Deepa, Raghu you can check back on your CSV file whether these were the leads which were there and yes they are being uploaded into the system thank you for watching this tutorial video of Impulse CRM